There is a question I have. I've been turning it over and over in my head. It's an important question and one that this podcast is dedicated to answering. That question is, who moved my car during lunch? This is The Facts Are These, a podcast about finding the truth. The facts are these. I arrived at work early to get the best parking spot near the elevators. I needed that spot because it shaves two and a half to four and a quarter minutes off my trip to and from my car. And without those two and a half to four and a quarter minutes, I have no chance of making it to Middlestrong in time to be in the front row where Amber will notice me and say, good job, Kate. However, when I went to my car to retrieve my travel pillow, the car had been moved one space over. Nine feet to the right. Hey, Kate, can I be on your podcast? No. There's no I in team. Fine. Great. Oh, I'm fine. Mike is my boss. Affable to be sure, but maybe that affability is hiding something darker. Where were you between noon and 1 p.m.? Oh, uh, well, uh, today started out normal enough. Good morning, everyone. Mike! This is my daughter, Skylar. She just baked you all this pie! <laughs> That's my dad. Please leave. Radio. The list of suspects was a mile long. It could have been anyone. But Eva is a pain in my ass, so she probably did it. Why would I move your car? I don't know. Why did you, Eva? Ava. Where were you between the hours of noon and 1 p.m. today, Eva? It's Ava, and I was entertaining Mike's daughter, Skylar. She was with me the whole time. Except for when she had to go to the bathroom. And that's when you moved my car. Why would I move your car? Then who did, Eva? Ava! I don't know, maybe the same person who stole my fan. Your what? My white fan. It's gone. Lots of stuff has gone missing. Ava's fan. Ava's fan, Charlene's whiteboard. Randall's chair. If you want to know what goes on in this building, you go to Stephanie from reception. Oliver's dustbuster went missing this morning. For some reason, Winifred from sales was there too. I actually only needed Stephanie. But Winifred knows so much about what goes on on the fifth floor. It's my fiefdom. So do you know who moved my car? To the fifth floor? In the garage. Oh, oh, I don't go into the garage. Neither do I. Too dusty and, and dirty. Too dusty and dirty. Where were you both between the hours of noon and 1 p.m.? Bird watching. I've seen those at TSW. Oh. <gasps> no way. Is that? It is. Oh, it totally is. This is the most amazing thing. Oh, you know who does go into the garage? Doreen from Accounts Receivable. Hello, Doreen. Thank you for coming on the show. Where were you between the hours of noon and 1 p.m.? Time is an old lie. It tells itself frequently with each passing day. Did you move my car? When we look for facts, we often stare past truth and miss simpleness. Is that a no? You probably forgot where you parked. No, I didn't. And you should probably stop obsessing over it. I'm not obsessing over anything. You made a crime board. Which is weird. And you started a podcast. Which is weirder. Lots of people have podcasts. Someone stole my ladder. You could start a podcast about that. Why do you have a ladder? Why don't you? The investigation had stalled. It was coming to a dead end. I'd probably never be able to prove that Eva was the one who moved my car. I actually found myself with more questions now than I had at the beginning. Why would someone move my car? Why do you need to be closer to the elevator? And who had stolen all that other stuff? What kind of dastardly... Day started out normal enough. I needed that spot. Why would I move your car? Lots of stuff has gone missing. The car had been moved one space over. That's my dad. Affable to be sure, but maybe that affability is hiding something 
darker. There's no I in team. Two and a half to four and a quarter minutes. That's my dad. And I was entertaining Mike's daughter, Skylar. She was with me the whole time, except for when she had to go to the bathroom. That's and my dad. That's when you moved my I car. I go into the garage. Neither do I. Nine feet to the right. Radio. Maybe the same person who stole my fan. That's my dad. Lots of stuff has gone missing. When we look for facts, we often stare past truth and miss simpleness.